Greetings, YouTube. This is a holiday message for you. Coming from me, Colin Jason, I Matthew Colin Glass, on behalf of this grammar channel as well as my Coral Blade Grotto channel. I just wanted to wish everyone out there happy holidays. However, it is you celebrate that if you do celebrate it. On a more personal note, I'd like to wish those who are open to it a very Merry Christmas. Remember, contract is by consent. And this is a special time of the year. And I use those words loosely. But there is something in the air. No matter how ba bah humbug you are, you have to admit, there's a little something different in people's demeanor as they go around from store to store uh, participating in the commercial part of the holiday or even just people being out and about period there's just something a little different about it and uh, it's always been that way as far as I can remember far back as 1972 one thing I would like to bring up because this is a grammar channel so I'm going to bring some grammar into it what does holiday mean? Now, you could think about it and be like, well, you know, you combine two words, holy and day. And then those of you out there who uh, are even a little bit familiar with quantum grammar, i.e. correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax grammar, will say, oh, ooh, the L-Y at the end of holy, that's a particle of negation. No, it's not. This is my Christmas gift to you, my holiday gift to you. Free of charge. I expect nothing in return for this gift. The LY in holy is not a particle of negation. How do I know that? Because I looked it up. And when you look it up, yes indeed, holiday is made up of two particles, two main particles, holy and day. What does holy mean when you parse it? You go back to the earliest available nativity root meaning of the word. And it comes to a Proto-Indo-European root, which means whole, W-H-O-L-E, or uninjured. And then, of course, if you parse a day, you find out what that means. That means the period of the now space when the sun is above the horizon. So a holiday just basically means a whole ass day. <laughs> and that's every day, right? Every day is a holiday. So that's all that means, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not just talking on my butt. You can look it up for yourself and certify it for yourself. But that's my gift to you. Holy is tangible contract and positive performance, much like family. Now, again, certain people will say, oh, there's an L-Y at the end of family. It's no contract. They'll even go so far as to modify the spelling of family to put an I instead of a Y, as if that's going to fix anything. Well, it doesn't. It just shows your ignorance that you have not taken the time to look it up in a parse. Uh, you have not taken the time to parse the word and look it up in an etymology dictionary. Because if you do, you would find that L-Y does not function as a suffix in the word family it is part of the word and so therefore if it is a part of the whole it's not a particle of negation and so family is tangible contract positive performance and that's the most important thing about it you got to look it up you got to do the work you just can't take someone else's word for it that this is the way it is and blah 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 no i mean if you're happy doing that if you're happy being lazy about it well that's up to you authoritarian followers need not apply here at this channel so again that's my gift to you i've given you two positive performance words that you may or may not have realized were positive performance and i can certify that knowledge by going to etymology online and you can too merry christmas as for this channel and the plans that i have for it as you may notice the Now Space News program will not be airing this Saturday. 
well, Saturday being, uh, the 17th, uh, and the reason being is that it, it was sort of an experiment, you know, I've taken the now space and energy invested sweat equity and creating it, putting together the headlines, syntaxing the headlines, putting together different pieces to it, adjusting it, uh, trying to make it better, and it just hasn't caught on the way that I thought it would. So therefore, I don't feel it's necessary to do anymore. I kind of wanted to cultivate or grow a loyal viewership that would watch it every week and then build on that, you know, more people, but the same people coming and participating in the comments. But of course, none of that happened, which is fine. You know, often the best laid plans of mice and men, yada, yada, yada. So that will no longer be a thing on this channel. However, I do have some very powerful content coming your way, including the debut of my uh, Quantum Grammar talk show called Continuum Conversations. And that instead will be premiering this Saturday, tomorrow, the 17th at 23, <clears throat> pardon, 23, 1100 hours. And my guest on this first episode, this debut episode is none other than my best and most successful student, Colon Ricardo, Colon Marseille, the uh, creator and founder of the Colon Rays hyphen wisdom brand. And we'll be talking about uh, how he came to know about quantum grammar, uh, why he wanted to learn it, and some of the actual things that he has done with it, including, but not limited to, walking into those foreign vessels in dry dock and for the avoidance of perjury, <laughs> blah, 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 boxes and planes, you know the rest. But you're going to want to catch that. I've already put out a sneak peek of that. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, there should be a link to that up here somewhere. And going into the new year, uh, you know, nothing's ever for sure. Uh, so we'll see what happens. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see that haven't already been done in the 500 videos I have on this channel, feel free to leave it in the comments field. I also just want to give thanks, you know, to the viewers, the loyal viewers who stay with me, watch every video, like the videos, share the videos, encourage their friends to subscribe to the channel and learn the grammar. I'd also like to thank all those individuals who contact me in the confidential at my email address and apply for workshops and participate with workshops in our series about learning the grammar. and. Uh, Really take that rule one rule equals seriously along with the balance of the honor and the grace and the position of peace and neutrality. I'm also thankful for uh, my family around me who, um, you know, we wouldn't be where we are unless we had family that support us. Although some of us are less fortunate than others, I feel very blessed to have a family that does um, do those very things. And I encourage everybody to participate with that this holiday season with their own biospheres and their own constructs and you know um, as anyone who watches this channel or especially the psyche playlist knows um, I do from time to time mention G.I. Gurdjieff uh, and who was a an esoteric teacher in the late 1800s early 1900s and he would he was a very big fan of, i don't know if you know this he was a very big very big fan of language and his magnum opus book beelzebub's tales to his grandson is a very unique book in that it takes words it combines particles of words from different languages to make new unique words um, so he was a student of language but one word that he said was probably his favorite and the most powerful word was kind, K-I-N-D. Because kind stretches across, according to him, all languages. Kindred, kind, kindness, meaning you treat someone like kin. You treat someone like their family. And that falls right into the rule one rule equal maintenance 
in that before you fly off the handle, before you react in an emotional fashion towards someone you don't know or even someone you do know. Think of that word, kind, kindness, especially during this holiday season, especially for the less fortunate. Just take those things into consideration and perhaps wake up every day and think of the word kind and let that guide your navigation through the day and every holy day. Again, thank you for your viewership. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays to everyone. And Merry Christmas.